What's going on guys, Sandy back with another Today I'm on my iPhone because I do not want to take my camera into a federal building You might be wondering, Sandy, what are you doing at a federal building? Today is one of the most important days of my dad's life He's been waiting for this moment for 25 years or so Let's go ask Lopoldo how he's feeling today You might know what's going down by the title But yes, we are here Let me show you where we are To be in this building today very blessed. Let's go see how they're feeling, what they're feeling, what they're not. Look at them getting ready. Yo, Chad, imagine if I was born with this kind of hair. I'd be live, huh? How you feeling, Lil Polo? Nervous, huh? Nervous? So so. Okay, Mr. Drip King. I see you trying to imp impress the US government. <laughs> you look good, you look good. No, it's only normal. And then you? Relax. I go leve. I go leve. You ready to be part of the United States of America? Yes, sir. Say something in English to impress the judge. I'm here to get opportunity. And we will be American. Hmm? American resident. <laughs> Actually, hopefully, subscribe. Lil Polo post game interview before the the the, the fourth quarter. Why you tiptoe over here like that? <laughs> he like tiptoed over here softly. Stand over here, fourth fourth quarter interview. Stand right there. Let me see the lighting. Oh yeah, show me some. Show me some shit. <laughs> so how long you been waiting for this meeting? Uh 20, 25 years. 25 years? Yes, sir. And in those 25 years, have you been good? Yes, sir. You've been amazing, um, illegal man? Amazing life with uh, family members and my wife and my two sons. You sure it's only two? Yes, sir. You promise? <laughs> so, <I'm> so. Sure. <laughs> I told you I was adopted. <laughs> What's the first thing you're gonna do with, when you become a resident? We will go to the eat something uh, somewhere. With this is my With my family. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what's the second thing you're gonna do as a resident? Second. I think uh, I try to go to Mexico. Okay, you wanna visit Mexico? Yes, sir. What are you gonna do out there? Uh, I stay with uh, my sisters, my. My brother. Oh yeah, yeah. mi tía, verdad? Allá sí. está en México. What about you, young man? Would, are you gonna go with them? Think about it. Ah, that's what I'm So you're gonna go by yourself? Pues si pueden ir conmigo, estaría bien. Don't worry, Lil Polo. Me and my subscribers will go go with you. Okay. We'll go explore Mexico with we'll you. Abril. Well, we'll see if he can by then, but yeah. if not, then I'll come with you. Okay. First class, first everything. Ooh. Yes. Say Jess with a J. Jess with a J. <laughs> nice clean nails, nice clean fit. What do you think about my fit? Uh, perfect, también. In the 25 years of being here without this meeting, did you live in fear or were you chilling? Ah, uh, tranquilo. Tranquilo. You weren't scared that they were gonna stop you and deport you? No. What if they did? What would you have done? Okay, if you had been deported, what what would you have done? No, no one can't say that. Can't say that. Yes, he can. Because by the t by the time this video is released, he's already a re resident. Mm -hmm. You're okay, buddy. It's okay. You're not under oath. I'm not the judge. What would you have done if you were deported? Nada. You would have stayed in Mexico. I stay home. In Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> Call it a day? Just give up right then and there? Uh-huh. Fuck it, huh? See. W Mans. Tell them to subscribe. And good best of luck to you in there in that meeting, young man. Don't subscribe. Huh? Don't subscribe. Don't subscribe? No, don't forget. Oh, don't subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you told him not to subscribe. No, subscribe. Don't forget. Okay, thank you, sir. Good luck in your meeting today. I'll be outside cheering you on, okay? Gracias. Gracias. And I'm American. Go like this. Say. <laughs> <sipa. laughs>
<laughs> Good look, little polo. Uh huh. I <laughs> saw. Go piss. Bro got nervous. He's gonna go drop a dude. <laughs> he don't know if it's a guy. <laughs> he didn't know if it was a guy's restroom. How's the dookie? Dookie. Nervous dookie? You ain't never had a little nervous dookie before? I feel it. Stand on business, Lo Polo. Stand on it. Let's go, Lo Polo. Let's go. Let's go, Lo Polo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Perfecto. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Está aprobado. Aprobado. Let's go. Let's go to eat. You speak English now. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Post game interview, ladies and gentlemen. How was it in there, Diego? It's tough. She had attitude in the beginning, huh? Can't say. <laughs> How'd it go, Leo Polo? Perfecto, mijo. Perfecto. Todo bien. Ya te va a llegar. Ya. ¿Cuándo te llega? Unas semanas, si Dios quiere. Okay, then we out to Mexico, huh? Yes, sir. Acapulco, Guerrero, Mexico City. Where are we going? La Cruz, Guerrero. Iztapalapa. But it was good? Easy process? Easy process. ¿Cuántas preguntas te preguntaron? Oh, como, será como unas, unas 15, 16, ¿no? ¿Estás nervioso? Ah, lo normal, hijo, pero pues todo. Todo salió bien. Todo salió bien y todo es verdad. Now time to celebrate, huh? Hit the strip club and whatnot. Score rich or what? Bombshells at least. At least you could do. Fuck it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can say fuck it now. You can't be you don't gotta be scared. Uh-uh. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it is possible. Just smooth process. Well, not really smooth because it took forever. But this is just to show people that it is possible. It isn't like a never-ending line. It took him 25 years, and then we started the process three years ago. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Look up what you guys have to do, because I know a lot of you guys have parents that are immigrants and the best of luck to you but yeah it's, it's possible you can do it just lock in you feel me he had a good job he, he was of age i had a good job and i was of age so we were able to both sign off on taking care of him or what was it like a sponsorship co-sponsoring co-sponsoring him but yeah now lo polo's lit now he can walk around chilling no pierdan la fe todos los papás que este que estamos en, el, en la misma situación no pierdan la fe con calma se llega Yes, Sersky. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Ay, como sufres, abuelito. Ahora sí que podemos comer chile, mira. Sí. Chamoycito. I just got a regular one. I didn't know they had it like that in here, twin. Same with OG over here. We're gonna wait on the food. This is my favorite, one of my favorite birria places in Houston. I'm not gonna give y'all a location. I'm a gatekeep. Fuck y'all. <laughs> y'all be safe though. Shit, too fat. Too fat. Mira nomás. Shit, too fat. What is going on, beautiful people? We are here at the law firm where they helped my dad gain his residency. Everybody's at work, even me. I'm here with Edwin, we're vlogging, but I dropped a TikTok. Here's the TikTok. That TikTok received a lot of love, and I had a lot of questions where you guys were like, yo, where did you get help for your dad? Um, I'm scared of getting papers from my mom because a lot of people get scammed, or was it expensive? How much did it cost? Who helped you? I'm in Houston, I need help. And I was like, okay, it's a lot of questions and a lot of information, and I am not qualified to give you a bunch of answers. And I can give you my personal experience, but why would I, when I can just talk to the CEO of the law firm that my dad got help from? So we're gonna go in there, talk to the CEO, answer a couple of your questions, so that way when you need help, legal immigration help, 
they can help you how they help me. So back into the room. ¿Cómo estás, Lu Pablo? Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Cómo estamos, señora? ¿Cómo se produce? Naime. Naime. Salem. Na Naime Salem. Sí. This is the lovely lawyer that helped us gain my dad residency. Ah, Miss Naime. She was amazing help. Her whole team was amazing help. I'm going to do this, most of this in Spanish, but there also be like, you know, translations at the bottom of the screen. I have four questions for you, Miss Naime. Primera pregunta que me preguntaron en las redes. ¿Qué abogado usaste? Pues yo soy Naime Salem, soy abogada de inmigración aquí en Houston, Texas. Llevo muchísimos años haciendo casos de inmigración, eso es todo lo que hacemos aquí en la oficina. Y estamos aquí para servirles y gracias a Dios pues pudimos ayudar a Leo Polo. Uh, y... Polo. <ríe> y estamos muy, muy felices porque todo le salió muy bien en su caso. Y aquí estamos para contestar sus preguntas y ayudarlos. Este es el número de teléfono que está aquí. Screenshot it, grábalo, aquí va a estar. Le vamos a dar toda la información y el número de teléfono y locación, en donde trabajan y todo eso. Throughout the whole process. So listen up. Next question, the follow. Do you want to ask it? ¿En qué área trabajan? Si sí, nosotros podemos ayudar a personas de todos los estados de Estados Unidos, porque la ley de inmigración es federal, así que ustedes me pueden llamar de cualquier estado donde estén. Podemos hacerlo por teléfono, por videollamada, o si están aquí en Texas o en, precisamente en Houston, nos podemos ver en persona. La pregunta más preguntada por estas gentes preciosas. ¿Cuánto me costó ayudar a mi mamá y a mi papá? Bueno, es bien importante que sepan que cada caso es diferente porque algunos casos cuestan más que otros. Pero para darles una idea, para aquí arreglar a los dos padres de Santi, fue aproximadamente 12 mil dólares entre gastos de abogado y gastos de inmigración para las formas. Ahora sí les tengo que decir que nosotros aquí damos planes de pago. No tienen que pagar todo de una vez. ¿eh? Mira, cada mes les va bien. And I'm here to vouch. No está mintiendo. 12,520 por dos personas. 6,260 por persona. Y la verdad, a mí me pareció muy bien porque siempre yo he tenido este miedo de que nos iban a estafar. They're going to scam me. And I was scared to pay the money, but I had people vouching. Tuve mucha gente que me dijeron, esta es, you know, it's legit. Una abogada legítima. No tiene que tener miedo de que su dinero va a ser gastado. En verdad vas a pagar y en verdad van a hacer el proceso y van a tratar lo más posible de ayudarlos. Te lo prometo, ir a los polos, bien feliz. Siempre. <risa> ¿Cuánto tiempo duró nuestro proceso? ¿Duró? Sí, mira, hay procesos que son súper rápidos y hay otros que se demoran mucho, depende el caso. Y lamentablemente después de la pandemia todos los procesos se duplicaron y hasta triplicaron en el tiempo de demora. Pero hay que tener paciencia, lo importante es que sí lo van a lograr. Two and a half years, o dos años y medio se tomó el proceso de mi papá y el de mi mamá fue dos años. Y otra cosa que quiero comentar es este, la confianza entre nuestra abogada y nosotros como clientes es bien importante. En mi caso estuvo un poco difícil, pero ella nos dio esperanzas de que sí se podía arreglar. Uh -huh. Entonces este, no se desesperen, pueden llamarle a hacer una cita con ella para ver específicamente su caso, porque todos son diferentes, como dice la abogada. El caso de mi papá fue un poco más difícil de mi mamá, por unos detallitos por ahí, pero como quiera mi papá no le dijeron, hey, no te vamos a poder ayudar, nos dijeron, hey, vamos a ver qué vamos a poder hacer, vamos a investigar, a ver qué se puede hacer, y se duró medio año más, pero sí se hizo. Y nunca pierdan la, la esperanza sí, y la puede. confianza en, en, en los abogados que tengan su caso. La abogada Naime nos ayudó, me ayudó a mi papá, le ayudó a mi mamá y les puede ayudar a ustedes. So, con confianza pueden hablar, pueden llamar, pueden decirles si quieren que Santi me mandó, como quieran, email, call, whatever. Ellos les van a ayudar a poder agarrar residencia, de todo inmigratorio, ¿correcto? Así es, todo trámite inmigratorio, aquí nosotros lo hacemos, cualquier cosa que necesiten, aquí vamos a estar. Also, beautiful people, she told me about a little kind of loophole that there is in, uh, in a way where you can help your parents gain residency status. Así que escuchen a la abogada, pongan atención. Si sí, es que estaba hablando ahorita con Santi y le estaba explicando que una de las maneras en que muchos de ustedes a lo mejor no saben y le pueden dar esa información a sus padres es que si ustedes se han estado portando mal, puede ser ahora o puede haber sido en el pasado, fueron rude con sus papás, se pusieron rebeldes, tiraban puertas, les decían de todo a sus padres cuando eran más jóvenes, sus papás pueden arreglar por eso y ustedes no se afectan en lo absoluto, eso sí se lo puedo prometer. No hay que llamarles la policía, no les crean un récord, pero sus papás sí pueden tener estatus legal si ustedes se estaban portando mal. O si se empiezan a portar mal. 
I'm just saying. It's my personal experience, so if you need help, this is where you're gonna find it. I love you guys, and Lopolo never lies. He's never lied a day in his life. Look at this man. You think he's gonna sit here and lie to you? Don't forget. Nunca. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that'll be it for today's video thank you guys i wish you nothing but the best and i hope that your parents immigration status is cleared and approved here in the united states best of luck si se puede raza ay manténganse fuertes y nos vemos en el siguiente video peace Shall we want to pop? Shall we want to pop?